there's a tool here that you won't find in any green belt manual, um, but we all recognize the importance of here. And it's called the Mark I eyeball. Uh, so just this this single this simple thing that we have, which is not simple at all. It's an incredibly complicated piece of engineering. Um, and the use of the eyeball, in other words, we, we see languages like go see, in a particular lean literature, the Gemba walk is 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 a common thing. Um, in fact, um, Jim Womack wrote a whole book called that, I think. Uh, the eye for improvement, um, and, and a phrase that I use an awful lot, show me. So what I'm saying here is before I even try and get involved in a green belt project, I want to see with my own two eyes, what are we facing? Because very often what's happening in the, in, the, in the setup is the business doesn't always have the best understanding of what the problem is because it's reacting to some kind of symptom. So what I'm in, always interested to do is go and see for myself, not take anybody's word for something. And a very quick example of this was um, I had a senior manager of a, an engineering repairs team and they, they the, so they're a service business and they're providing engineering support to various different places. And they were constantly running short of parts and um, from the supplies depot. And so there's the, the service that was supporting them was holding them up constantly. And I said, right, let's go and go and see what it's like in the supplies depot. And he goes, I've worked for these people, for, with these people for 20 years. There's no way I'm going to get anything new information. But what we did is we trained him up how to look with an eye for improvement, an eye for understanding. And two hours later, he came back and he said, right, I now know more about the supply service than I have in just those last two hours than the previous 20 years put together. So that using the Mark One eyeball to assess what's going on, go see the problem for yourself, go and find out what's happening. If you haven't done that, then everything else after that is at risk. So that's my number one point for you.